Hello. This is a brief review of Chapter 6, A Tour of the Cell. Uh, the chapter starts off with an overview of the history of the development of the microscope. Um, Mid-1600s, um, Robert Hooke describes cells using the light microscope. The light microscope uh, reaches its maximum effectiveness at about 1500x uh, because of the resolving power of light itself. In the 1950s, the electron microscope was invented so that structures uh, deeper within cells can be uh, studied. Now on page 95, we kind of go over uh, cell size and a review of prokaryotes versus eukaryotes. You need to know the differences between prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Um, most cells are small. The smallest of the cells of the mycoplasma is about 0.1 microns. Most bacteria are 1 to 10 microns. Most eukaryotes are 10 to 100 microns. But even a 100 micron cell is small. The reason why cells are small is because they rely on their surface area for oxygen, everything. Uh, so they have to have a lot of surface area for their volume. The smaller an object, the greater its surface area to volume ratio, or the greater its surface area with respect to its volume. So that limits how big a cell can get. So to be a, a big organism, you don't have big cells, you just have more cells. Starting from Roman numeral 3 in your notes, we talk about the structures of eukaryotes, the nucleus. Uh, enclosed in the membrane known as the nuclear envelope, contains chromosomes. Chromosomes contain your DNA uh, may, packaged with proteins into the chromosomes. Now the nucleus also contains a nucleolus which makes ribosomes. Roman numeral four, ribosomes. They're tiny structures in cells. All cells have them including prokaryotes. They're not membrane bound. They make proteins. Ribosomes can be free in the cytoplasm or they can be bound in or embedded in the membranes of endoplasmic reticulum. Starting from Roman numeral 5 in our notes, we cover the organelles of the endomembrane system. It's a series of organelles that interact with each other. They merge, they separate, somewhat analogous to the bubbles of a lava lamp. Now, uh, the endomembrane system includes the nuclear membrane, the endoplasmic reticulum, the Golgi apparatus, the lysosomes, vacuoles, and even the plasma membrane. Endoplasmic reticulum comes in two types, rough and smooth. Rough endoplasmic reticulum has ribosomes, makes proteins. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum, no ribosomes. They make lipids, they detoxify substances. They also include the sarcoplasmic reticulum of muscle cells. Liver cells also have a lot of smooth endoplasmic reticulum because of what they do. They detoxify things, they manufacture lipids, uh, things like that. Uh, the Golgi apparatus stores, packages, and ships cell products. When I say cell products, I mean stuff made by the endoplasmic reticulum. The Golgi apparatus is kind of like the UPS of the cell. Lysosomes contain hydrolytic enzymes to break down or digest molecules, old organelles, organelle, things like that. Um, in the book, it mentions Tay-Sachs disease as an example of a lysosomal storage disease. The person with Tay-Sachs disease is missing an enzyme that otherwise digests lipids in the brain, and therefore the lipids build up and cause brain damage. Vacuoles have various purposes. For example, a food vacuole holds food, contractile vacuoles pump water, and plant cells have a large central vacuole. Roman numeral 6 in our notes are the two energy transducing or energy converting organelles. These are the mitochondria and the chloroplasts. They convert energy. They are not part of the endomembrane system. They have their own DNA, mitochondrial DNA, chloroplast DNA. This DNA is not part of our chromosomes. It's not in our nucleus. It's not even inherited from both of our parents. Uh, this DNA is maternally inherited, coming only from the mother. Um, and it only functions within the organelle itself. Mitochondria are the powerhouse of the cell. Specifically, they convert food energy into cellular energy of ATP, adenosine triphosphate. That's called cellular respiration. The details will be in another chapter. Chloroplasts are found in plant cells, algae cells. Uh, they're the green structures in this cell model. They are for photosynthesis, which is converting light energy into food energy by converting carbon dioxide into sugar. 
Roman numeral seven, cytoskeleton and related structures made of protein filaments, microtubules, microfilaments, intermediate fibers. The cytoskeleton itself frames the cell, gives it its shape, allows for organelle movement. Uh, cilia and flagella are also uh, made of such proteins and therefore moving of the cell. Uh, cilia are tiny hair-like structures um, that cover the cell. A uh, flagellum is a long whip-like structure. Uh, you can see pictures of cilia and flagella on page 115. Uh, with the cell surface structures, I talk about cell walls, primarily uh, who's got what. Plants have cell walls made of cellulose. Fungi have cell walls made of chitin. Bacteria have cell walls made of peptidoglycan. Um, animals and most protozoans lack cell walls. Well, that's most of it. Make sure you study your notes and all the details therein.